Why is childhood obesity different yet still like the key to understanding the whole problem? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Childhood obesity is actually like a, it's actually a more aggressive form of obesity, which is something probably a lot of people don't even know. But because it's more aggressive and because it's sort of less environmentally related, like if you're 10 years old and you have obesity, you've only been on this earth for 10 years, so it hasn't been, it's not like you've been, um, you know, doing things to contribute to your own health problems over 20 or 30 years. You've only been around for nine or 10 years. And frankly, you didn't even have control of what you did for probably the first five, right? So, you know, anytime I see like a nine-year-old or a 10-year-old with obesity and type two diabetes, it's, first of all, it's like sad and mind blowing, but it's also like, wow, like you have this disease that most people don't get until they're in their 40s or something. So what's different about you? Like it, it always raises my sort of my antenna to like try to figure out something new or different or like understand the problem differently, which is why I think uh, childhood obesity is so important. Obviously, it's what I do, so I'm a little biased, but like, you know, the, again, the pundits who are out there or on TV talking about obesity, they haven't treated these kids or seen them. And I'd like them to explain to you as a viewer or to me why these kids have that problem because it's a different thing. Um, so anyway, obesity in children not only is a pure form of the disease, but as I said before, it's more aggressive. So what does that mean? It means if you have insulin resistance, which is sort of what, this is basically what diabetes is, it progresses faster in kids. Like you go from just being insulin resistant to being uh, and needing insulin uh, injections much quicker than the adults do. And that's just not for diabetes. That holds true for liver disease. It holds true for the uh, something called sleep apnea, which is where your, your breathing at night gets interrupted and you don't get enough oxygen to your brain. It progresses faster in kids. And you know, it's, as it makes sense, the orthopedic issues, right? Joint problems. I mean, there are kids who have arthritis from their weight. It's crazy, crazy to think about but they do. Um, so if you don't get it treated, obviously it's gonna get worse. Cause it's, I, I think about it sort of like, we used to talk about um, cigarette smoking in pack years, right? Or in, um, yeah, pack year, 20, or pack days, pack years, whatever, 20 packs a day, 20, you would have two packs of cigarettes a day for 20 years. And that would be 40 pack years of smoking. So obesity is kind of similar. It's not just what you weigh at any point in time. It's like how long you've been at a weight that's unhealthy for your body. So people have to stop sort of thinking about it in like as a one-time thing, because it's really an overtime thing. So it's cumulative, the damage can be cumulative. And so in all patients with obesity, no matter what their age, I always advocate for treatment sooner and more aggressively, because we know that diet and exercise doesn't work for weight loss or any significant weight loss. And it just kicks the can down the road. Like if I tell you to go do an exercise program for three months, I know three months from now you're gonna be about the same. And why not just treat the disease from the get-go and do the exercise program, like do both. And, and the other thing that's different about childhood obesity is even though it progresses faster, it's also more reversible or the damage is more reversible. So if you have diabetes as a kid and you get bariatric surgery, let's say, for instance, your likelihood of that disease being cured is actually better than if you have diabetes as a 40 year old and get surgery. And we've done studies to prove that. So it's like the information's right there. So while most adults who have obesity didn't have obesity as a child, which makes sense because there are about 140 million adults in the US right now who suffer from obesity, which by the way is a staggering number and something we'll talk about later. But almost, all kids who have obesity, unless they get it treated, will go on to adulthood with obesity and carry that disease risk with them. So remember, obesity is a disease. There's something you can do about it. And if you like what you're hearing, share it with your friends, post comments, give me feedback, subscribe to the channel, and tune in next time when we're gonna talk about something that's really sort of out there, which is how obesity gets passed from one generation to the next. So stay with me here. We're learning, we're doing, we're doing good things. We're all gonna get this world to a better place together. So see you next time.